today I'm drawing an ink and wash in paper 53. So I'm spending an afternoon in the garden sketching. I've already done one on my Samsung Note 8 and now I thought it'd be quite cool to do one in paper 53. So here goes. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here again in my favourite drawing app on the iPad, Paper by 53. I'm continuing with the pen and ink theme and today I thought I would change it up a little bit by putting a colour wash uh, similar to what you would do with watercolour paints over the top of the ink drawing. Um, <clears throat> I've actually I, I produced the ink drawing and saved it as a finished drawing and then um, well, duplicated it and then created the coloured version over the top. So I have, I do have two versions. I have the black and white one and the coloured one and be interesting to see which you prefer. I'm always interested to see if people think the colour adds anything to a drawing or sometimes it's a bit over the top. Um, somebody did suggest that um, the colour because I put this on Instagram and asked the same question, and they suggested that, well, it might have been Twitter actually, they suggested that I convert the coloured version to black and white, because um, I did use the colour to add a certain amount of tone, I guess, to the sketch, which isn't really what I wanted to do. I wanted to do all the tonal work with the pen and ink, and then just add a quick, colour wash over the top of it rather than it being a line drawing that I then put the tone in with colour if you get what I mean. Anyway this was part of a really cool uh, Saturday afternoon I think sketching and you may have seen the video I did on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8 because I, I was using that to sketch and the battery just um, run out on me so that is the downside of sketching with digital devices the battery can run out so but luckily enough I had my iPad with me so I was able to continue sketching because I had not finished drawing it I spent the whole afternoon really doodling and, and sketching and it was uh, really pleasurable it was it made such a change from working in the studio on my own all the time there was other people about and um, chatting and doing so yeah it was really cool so it, it, as you see here on the drawing i do put a little bit of etching in there to add some uh depth and and again on the side of the shed lot sort of put some shadow in there but um, i get plenty of depth in with the big solid black colors like they kind of cast shadow off the shed onto the fence wall and the back of the bushes and things but i don't really kind of go over the top with it and pay a lot of attention to the all of the drawing it really is um quite a simple drawing with not a lot of detail paid to, to shadow except i guess from the ladder there i quite like what i've done with that casting the shadow onto the shed uh, and i could have certainly spent a lot more time etching and cross etching and getting the perfect sketch but i i did stop um at a certain point and thought i want to put some color on this now it didn't it wasn't a massively long sketch i've worked a, a lot longer on sketches before so here you go you can see i'm now gone into the watercolor brush and i start adding color and i'm going for this bright yellow start within the leaves and then picking up the green and it's interesting that i pick something like the leaves such a small part of the drawing to start colouring first because usually I whack the sky in first and, and I think I, in actual fact on this one I saved that till last but I mean, the old colouring process probably took me two minutes over the whole of the, the thing really it didn't take me long at all it was a very quick uh, procedure and I'm using the colour sliders to choose the colours. It, it would be nice to be able to... I suppose you can make a little mini palette. And that's what I do to some respect, that I've got sort of 
the base colours on the palette, and then I keep going in and adjusting the tone and, and what have you. And that's it. That's my finished sketch in paper 53 i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me a thumbs up it's much appreciated it helps me out a lot and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i have lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them with you so hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye